Hi everyone, how are you? So I want you to think, before medical dramas became popular, how many have we had before Grey's Anatomy, before 2005? We, I could think of a couple. I mean, each era, each generation has its own drama of medical doctor shows, right? Because time with practice and as you hear, go through science and the whole medical field gets more advanced, right? Like, Neil Patrick Harris, Dookie Hauser, and then ER are really the only ones that I can think of before 2005. Like, way past 2005, like 90s, 80s, 80s, 90s. Which, George Clooney started on uh, ER, which was the longest running medical drama in TV history as a doctor show. So you got that until a couple years ago. Grey's Anatomy surpassed it with its, like, seems like it's going into its 30th season as of this recording. It's not there yet. I believe it's, like, almost to The Simpsons of how many seasons it has, 20-something. But in that... 20 years since 2005 you basically it's a time capsule you gotta remember or where you were when it first started how old you are like for me i think i was just going into middle school graduation going passing elementary going into I believe seventh grade in two thousand and five six in that time when you get a long medical show like Grey's Anatomy um you basically are seeing the time capsule of guest stars that had been on the show that you look back at a Wikipedia of Mojo if you know that YouTube channel that they do a great job of the top 10, like those top 10 guest stars that was on Grey's Anatomy you don't remember or something. It started, and if you remember the cast, it started off with Patrick Dempsey, Sandra O, oh, Katherine Heigl, and Uh, the, so, those three, basically, actors, which are no longer around, um, they don't do the show, except for, if you made it this far, into the show, um, season and you're still watching Grey's Anatomy you know in 2020 they did like 
a guest star each week from the past seasons. That was really cool to see. Um, another thing is media about how when it first started this is also know how old you are box sets season box sets if you don't know what those are those are the D dvd physical copies of each season would be put on a disc It just amazes me that Grey's Anatomy, the longest running medical drama in history, that basically other medical dramas present to 2005 has gotten their wave and respect kinda on that line of popularization which gets to the point where when this era all comes down to for medical dramas the reigning doctor show for all time probably the rest of my life will be the northwest location non-location because it's on a sound stage sound stage drama show but it's based in seattle washington will be the show that defines medical dramas for years to come it even had private practice its first spin-off now there's a spin-off with um fire trucks or whatnot um so Grey's Anatomy when it's all said and done and they find out hopefully they got like five to ten more years of doing the show you see it all progress when you start from episode one but when it's all said and done it will be amazing sad to see to come to an end of Grey's Anatomy, how many other seasons that they have left. Literally, it's been my whole lifetime. Most, almost my whole lifetime. Like, you grew up with the show, I grew up with the show, we all grew up with the show.